We spend so much time of our life studying that you would expect that after some time we become, just by trial and error, rather efficient and proficient at it. Well, science shows us that actually when it comes to studying, our intuition as to what is effective and what is not is rather off. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Janis. I am a physician from Germany, training in neurology. And on this channel, we discuss learning strategies and techniques and other self-improvement stuff. And today I want to present to you a study that might just change the way that you think about and approach studying. So it was done by two cognitive psychologists from the US and they took 200 students and gave them one scientific text to read and assigned them to four different study groups. So in the first group, they just took the text and read it, studied it once. While in the second groups, they went through four sessions of rereading and restudying the text. In the third group, the students studied the text once, but then they were instructed to use an elaborative study technique. So they were supposed to create a concept map, so kind of a mind map um, about the concepts and contents of the text. This is one example of what the concept maps looked like by the students in the study. And in the fourth and final group, the students read the text once and then they used a retrieval practice. So without looking at the text, they asked themselves uh, questions in their mind and try to create the contents of the text from their mind and only after that they were allowed to have another look at the text uh, if their answers that they recalled were right or wrong. And then after those study sessions all the students from all four groups had to wait for one week until there was an exam where they were tested in verbatim questions and also in inference questions uh, on how much they remembered and if they remembered the important contents from the text. Let's take a look at the results. It comes as no surprise that the group that only studied the text once performed worst of all the groups, then the two other groups, the one that restudied for four times and the one that drew the concept maps, they performed better than that and there was no significant difference between them. We see here in the graph that there was a tendency for the concept mapping group to perform a little bit worse. And then here's the uh, first surprise. So the retrieval practice group, they performed 18% points better than the second best group, the group that studied and reread the text for four times uh, just by asking themselves questions about the text and trying to recreate the information from their mind, even though they did not spend more time on studying than the other groups. So uh, this is quite nice. I don't know about you, if I can uh, just apply the technique of asking myself questions after I read something, after I heard about something and um, just answer, answering them for myself in my mind and by that increase my exam results by 18% points. I would do that any day and I try to do that any day now. But to me this was not even the most exciting or surprising part of the study because remember in the beginning of the video I told you that science actually shows us that our intuition about which study technique is good is pretty bad. These clever scientists, they added another part to the study to show to us just that. So after the students went through their respective studying phases in the beginning, they asked them what they predicted, how they would perform in the final test to come in one week. And here, which is crazy, we see that the students that did the retrieval practice that performed best on the final test, they actually expected to perform worst of all the groups. They expected to perform even worse than the group that only read the text once. This study goes to show that retrieval practice or active recall, what is often also called, is on the one hand a highly efficient study technique, but on the other hand, somehow our intuition cannot grasp that and that we expect it to actually be one of the worst study techniques. How can that be? This contradiction is probably best explained by something that scientists call illusions of knowing. And this is to say that when we read a text and feel like we uh, understand the text well, it is not necessarily the same as actually understanding the contents of the text and even actually remembering the contents of the text. Uh, and especially if we read the text again and again, like the repeated study group did, um, we get really fluent at the act of reading the text and feel 
positively that we actually understand uh, and probably remember its contents. So non surprisingly, the group that did repeatedly read the text felt very, very confident that they in the end would remember the information well. But this goes to show that we are rather bad at really judging if we actually understand the contents of a text and if we will actually remember them. So just rereading a text multiple times, which is by far one of the most common study strategies by students worldwide, is good at giving us the confidence that we actually know the text, while it is rather bad at actually giving us real understanding and real lasting memory of the text. Um, but we won't find out unless we actually test ourselves and this is exactly what the retrieval practice group did. They asked themselves questions about the text and tried to recreate it from their memory and for one part, as we see in the study, this actually, as it is a very active process and is kind of challenging to the mind, helps to make the memory stronger so it leads to better results. But on the other hand, it also shows us that we maybe didn't understand some of the parts of the text or already forgot about them. So as we demonstrate to ourselves that actually we didn't know everything yet, it is rather bad for our confidence and results in students predicting that they are performing worse when they use this study technique, which does not reflect the results. Yeah, so this really is my favorite study when it comes to study techniques. Um, as it shows the power of retrieval practice in comparison to other study techniques and it also nicely shows that your and my intuition probably is pretty bad when it comes to judging which study techniques are efficient and which are not. And there are hundreds of more studies that show the power of retrieval practice or active recall, what it is often called, and also the power of spaced repetition, another nice study concept, and the pretty bad power of other study techniques that we intuitively mostly apply. If you want to find out more about what science says about other study techniques that you might or might not use, there are two nice external resources that I would recommend to you. One is the book Make It Stick, which I'll link to below, and another is another YouTube channel by Ali Abdal, a doctor from the UK who talks a lot about study techniques and where I first came across this beautiful study. I'll also link to his channel below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye bye.